Well, it's Sunday afternoon. We had a pretty rough thunderstorm yesterday evening and Friday evening. And thankfully, my corn don't look that bad. I've noticed, I don't know if it shows up on here, but out on the peas on the outer end there, it looks as if something's trying to gnaw on them. I don't know what it is. I didn't see any deer tracks, so I don't think it's deer. I believe it's a groundhog because there's no tracks, but they're just keeping them pruned back. But down this way, they're looking good. But the corn, from what I'm seeing here, looks good. Um, we're going to walk up that way here in just a second. but And then I want to walk out there and check my watermelons. But we did get a powerful rain. I don't know how many inches we got, but we got some rain. As you can see uh, right here where it washed. My ditch, I think, did help some. But the good part about it now that this has been cultivated, the way we set these cultivators up, is put that ditch in between the rows and the water will run there instead of running off all your seeds. So that's been a good thing. So I see a little watermelon over there. But uh, I want to walk up here and check my corn first. This is just a quick update. And we had some powerful lightning, thunder, uh, Nobody was hurt that I know of, but I did notice some corn right close to my house was blowed down, but we've got trees surrounding this, so just maybe that helped protect it as a windbreak, but man, that stuff is tall, and it's still not tasseled. It's as high as my head, folks. That's going to be some massive corn, but look here. I do want you to look right here. There's been a deer up here. You see that? That's fresh. I don't know what he's been eating on. If he's even eat anything. He's just scouting it out. But the corn's fixing the tassel. It just hadn't tasseled yet. It's as high as my head. That's some pretty corn. Stole evergreen. Come from Hoss Tool. And if any of you are not familiar with Hoss Tool, I recommend you check them out. I think it might be wise if I can See if I can't set a little bit of something out that will keep these deer away from this stuff. I don't know. They're not bothering it. But it's just a matter of time. See, they've been in here. Right there's a track. But that's the only one. I don't see where they have crossed and went out anywhere else. Huh. They've nipped, something's nibbled that oak tree right there. And something has nibbled on those peas right there. But it is not a deer. There's no tracks no more. That's just got me. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up this way. See right there. They come to it and they stop. There's some more. But they don't go out in the field. That's a long neck rascal. Those little things that I, the deer off, whatever you call it. I don't know if you can see it there on the camera, but I, I just wonder, I believe those things do work, folks. I really do. There's another track. I 
they're checking it out. But there's just something about it they're a little nervous about. It's just a tad drier out here. That's why I'm going this way. If I lived here and I could keep a more closer eye on this stuff, it would sure be nice, but I don't. This is my wife's land. Well, or mom and daddy's land. So I just come over here and tend it. I don't see no damage on the watermelons. Uh, I've seen uh, rain like that come and it would cause watermelon to split open. It would get so much water so fast. But they're looking good. So that bad boy's still a growing. Tell you why I'm up this way. I think we'll walk on up here and check this. Now I will say at home, my cucumbers, you know, I've got those on those wire stands and it did blow those over. I went out early this morning and stood those back up. So that fixed that. But I do know these peas up here, and this is what we planted them for. So the deer would eat this and stay away from everything else. It looks like they've got in there and even cut back on them milkweeds. And that's fine too. Yeah, but they ain't killed them. They're coming. They'll put right back off new growth, and they can eat that. But they're they're working on these. That's good. That's what they're here for. If I do get anything, it's fine. If I don't, I, I just bought some old cheap seed from the grocery store and throwed them out. But there. Let me see if I can zoom down here where you can see it. Let me see there where they're gnawing it off. But this little grove right here is what they love to eat. They've just about clipped every one of these off. That's all right. Like I say, that's what it's here for. Okay. Well, I'm gonna close this video out. Just thought I'd do a quick update. This probably, this today's Sunday. You probably see this Monday morning, so. I get it edited, whatever I gotta do to it. Get it back on. But I'm gonna probably work down here a little bit. See if I can't put something else out to deter them away from those down there. And they can eat these. That's why I put these on out here. So they could eat that. And that's fine. A lot of this water range that runs off down there and settles. This makes good potatoes up on this ridge here. I'm hoping next year maybe we can do that. I would love to try 
and grow some onions and I would love to do it down in that lower part down there next spring if I can find me some good row cover and start them I've got the seed to do it but just getting started Yeah, we might have a pumpkin or two out of here. I don't know. This spot right through here, power company sprayed this several years ago. And I want you to look, folks. I mean, this section right here, I can't get nothing to grow right. Now I had sweet potatoes, and look at those tomatoes right there on the end. I don't know if you can see them, but... And the sweet potatoes, I had them up about right in here. Everything just dies. The peas are doing good up there, but that's about it. It's whatever's eating on them would quit and go on. But... I had a little patch, the deer started eating on these, you know. And right there, they never did come back out. But all down through there, they did. They're vining out pretty good. And we got watermelons vining out right there. That's moon and star. Looks like there may be something else mixed in with it. I see leaves in there that don't have no spots on them. I don't know. Saw a little watermelon right up here somewhere. There's one. Yeah, there's some down here. I see one in there. These may be the Crimson Sweets or uh, Charleston Grays, I think. I'm not sure. One or two. Okay, folks, so I'm going to get off of here. I've mouthed enough. And I got to get doing a little something. Because if I don't, i got to stay on top of it. But this is just a little quick midweek update, midterm update. I usually try to do one a week, but I'll probably get another one in this week. And, uh, but thank, thank y'all for your prayers. Uh, those of you that's praying for us. And, uh, cause I do want to see that corn make something. And uh, hopefully we'll get something. Wished I could share it with you. Had a great meal today. We had fried squash. I went down and seen mama and daddy. They gave us some tomatoes out of their garden. And I got to try my first celebrity tomato today. Delicious, delicious. So we had that stew beef and mashed potatoes and cantaloupe, uh, cucumbers, I mean, just delicious, delicious. So anyway, y'all have a great day, and Lord willing, we'll talk at you later.